Animation takes a lot of practice to master, so it's just magical to watch other artists solve creative problems and craft brilliant stories, all for entertainment. If you're into this kind of stuff as an artist, or just a fan of entertainment, take a look at this list featuring our favorite animators on YouTube. Some of these artists post their own animations or tutorials, or even a combination of the two with other goofy animated videos thrown in. You'll find everything from autobiographical shorts to parodies, music videos, film and game reviews, and hilarious satire. Not only are these animators just amazing artists, they're also great writers. I guarantee there's a lot in here to keep you entertained for hours. Domix creates self-described anecdotal animations about situations we've all been in and some original short stories as well. This is all with a minimalist palette and simple art style. He really has a gift for turning the most mundane situations into something engaging and entertaining. He mostly sticks to a limited palette, I mean, you can't get much more limited than black and white, but sometimes includes color. And every once in a while he'll hop on camera himself to answer questions or teach a tutorial. This channel has been around for years so there's lots to explore. You'll also notice how his style of art and storytelling evolves over time while still maintaining a consistent look and feel to the artwork. A great channel to get lost in. Alan Becker is an American online animator, YouTube personality and artist, best known for creating the Animator vs. Animation web series, its shorts and its spin-offs Animation vs. Minecraft, Animation vs. YouTube, Animation vs. League of Legends, Animation vs. Pokemon and Animation vs. Super Mario Bros. Check out his channel and have fun. This channel is run by Brendan Blabber who's not only an animator, but also a writer, voice actor, and cartoonist. There's a lot to look at here. Check out his Tip of the Tongue series for tips on writing and drawing for cartoons and the film business. He also posts funny reviews of games and movies along with his own animations in a fun hodgepodge that will lead you down a highly entertaining rabbit hole. His voice acting skills always keep things interesting. This channel is run by an artist named Ross who also works with the Game Grumps channel. He posts a variety of videos including random cartoons, his own animated shorts, and Gamer Tonight, an ongoing short that spoofs popular games and cartoons. Most of his videos are pretty short so it's easy to watch a bunch of them at once. This account, run by an artist named Matt, is a collection of short cartoons with lots of sarcasm and over-the-top ridiculousness. His cartoons are often strange and mildly disturbing, in a good way. Much like his Pokemon series with some over-the-top humor. If that's your thing, check him out. Matt creates funny and honest videos about topics like the perils of YouTube, Dom, kind of like Sarah Scribbles meets South Park with some fantasy thrown in, along with the occasional review videos that are just as fun as his cartoons. You'll also notice a few recurring characters and storylines throughout his animations. This channel is kind of a vlog as told by the artist's animated doppelganger. It's really fun. In this semi-autobiographical cartoon topics range from fluffy and fun to serious, real, and relatable. You'll find short and engaging animations about being an artist, an animator, and an adult. It's also worth checking out her earlier videos to see how her animation style has changed and grown more refined over time. High Five Toons is run by a duo who do all their own cartooning, animating, and voices in their series of short entertaining yet off-the-wall pieces. You'll also find shorts animated to music from the animator's band. Some of their stuff gets pretty trippy, especially the music videos, and they're a lot of fun to binge watch. The cartooning style varies and is quite experimental. In this channel, you'll find originals and parodies of popular games and cartoons like Sonic and Pokemon, all in a bold artistic style that goes to some interesting places. You'll also find a few original shorts about crime-fighting lizards. Not to get too random, but you should definitely check those out. Really just check out the whole channel it's too fun to miss. Rice Pirate has a bunch of made up of parodies, original animated shorts, and voice acting demos from this voice actor and animator. The parodies are hilarious as they poke fun at the content and cartoon style of so many pop culture topics. 
He even sometimes gets on camera himself to provide life updates and interesting peeks at upcoming projects, as well as behind-the-scenes workflows of his animations. Mick also includes some animation and voice acting tutorials to help other aspiring artists. All in all, his channel is full of lots of random stuff that's worth checking out. He's also got quite a following on Twitter if you're into that kind of thing. And for you UGIO fans, you're gonna like this. This animator actually doesn't use animation software at all, but works with Adobe Premiere instead. The artist has a consistent style and creates very naturally drawn, but very expressive, snowman humanoid characters. If you like the oatmeal and ASDF you'll probably be into this. His animations are sometimes semi-autobiographical, touching on lots of relatable stuff we all experience. And they're always entertaining. Some of these videos are a bit on the longer side so settle in and switch YouTube to autoplay. Here you'll stumble into a library full of animations of the relatable real-life variety in a simple, doodly drawing style. You'll find lots of engaging topics dealing with mental health and self-improvement, which is actually really useful if this is something you struggle with. Jaden also includes topics about funny travel mishaps and experiences, all autobiographical and starring a cartoon version of herself. There's also a healthy amount of random animations that have nothing to do with anything. But aren't those sometimes the best animations? Catch up with Jaden on other social channels like Instagram and Twitter too. This channel is mostly animated shorts, and really I mean they're short. As in, under a minute for many of them. Yet packed with just as much entertainment as other vids. These animations are also entertaining, unexpected, somewhat grotesque, and highly addicting. They're the kind of videos that you finish and say to yourself, what the heck did I just watch? Right before hitting the replay button. Though most are brief, the video lengths are all over the place ranging from 15 seconds to 30 minutes. You never know what you're going to get. The cartoon style is definitely exaggerated but quite detailed with lovely backgrounds, which I can't quite tell might be drawn or photographic. An artist simply named Aaron produces the content on Primate Punk. This includes lots of parodies of popular shows like Spider-Man and Dragon Ball as well as plenty of originals. The style changes a lot ranging from a kind of Twisted Dick and Jane style, to something reminiscent of Ren and Stimpy. There's a wide variety of content here in the form of parodies, sarcastic commentary, and satire. Most of the animations are also pretty short and highly binge-able. Grab a snack and dive in. So this channel starts as a bit of a mishmash by featuring original shorts starring talking animals. Yet if you scroll through the archives over time it evolves into an ongoing autobiographical cartoon of a college student with some other stuff thrown in. It's a lot of fun because she originally started this account as a way to learn animation, with no real direction for her content. You'll find lots of different stuff like Q&As, animations set to music, parodies, and original shorts that show off her quirky sense of humor as an artist. Errol's channel is full of relatable stories from his own life and funny observations about things like weird baby names, all featuring voiceovers from Errol himself. These videos feature some fun animation styles ranging from somewhat realistic proportions to highly exaggerated caricatures. Errol is not only an accomplished animator, but a great storyteller with a natural means of grabbing your attention. It's easy to get sucked into the ongoing saga of his life because his storytelling coupled with this amazing art is an engaging combo. If you're interested in creating autobiographical cartoons or telling any kind of story with your animations, this is a great artist to subscribe.